Good morning. Welcome to the GMS Radio TV Network Morning Show. I'm Allison Vasquez. And I'm Kirsten Skinner. Hope everyone is safe and healthy. Let's get started. Russia's invasion has displaced half of Ukraine's children. On a hospital bed in a town close to the border with Poland, a little girl with a long blonde braid and dressed in pink is one of them. To get there, Zlada Moisienko survived a chronic heart condition, daily bombings, days of sheltering in a damp, chilly basement, and nights of sleeping in a freezing car. The fragile 10-year-old became so unsettled that her father risked his life to return to their ninth floor apartment 60 miles south of the capital, Kiev, to rescue her pet hamster, Lola, to comfort her. U.S. security regulators say they have legal authority to subpoena Tesla and CEO Elon Musk about his tweets, and that Musk's move to throw out a 2018 court agreement that his tweets must be pre-approved is not valid. The Securities and Exchange Commission also disclosed publicly that it is investigating Musk's two November 6, 2021 tweets that asked followers whether he should sell 10% of his Tesla stake. The Commission confirmed that it issued administrative subpoenas while investigating whether Musk and Tesla are complying with disclosure control in the 2018 agreement. One in five of the first batch of next-generation U.S. Postal Service delivery vehicles will be electric-powered, officials said Thursday. The Postal Service formally placed its initial $2.98 billion order for 50,000 vehicles, with at least 10,019 of them being battery electric vehicles. That represents a doubling of electric vehicles from the initial plan. The first of its new vehicles are expected to be on delivery routes by late next year. The first podcast from Hit, Prince Harry and Meghan's partnership with Spotify will focus on harmful labels and stereotypes applied to women. The Archetypes podcast will be hosted by Meghan and is expected to launch this summer. The series will feature interviews with historians and experts to investigate the labels that try to hold women back. According to a summary posted on Spotify, the streaming service on Thursday released a minute-long teaser that opened with clips of people using the words slut and skanky and talking about the stereotypes applied to women's strengths and intelligence. Harry and Meghan have a multi-year deal to produce and host podcasts for Spotify under the production company Archwell Audio. Once again, we welcome you to the GMS Radio TV Network Morning Show. I'm Chris Skinner, and we'll be right back after this public service announcement. How was school? Music can help you express how you're feeling. When you can't find the language, find the lyrics. Welcome back to the GMS Radio TV Network Morning Show. I'm Allison Vasquez. A Massachusetts man says he has the answer for those singing the blues about stratospheric gas prices. Rick Madeira of Fall River has taken to riding his electric unicycle to work, saving on gas and cutting his commute time in the process. It's just more convenient and it's obviously more fun, he told the Herald News. Madeira's with no seat or handlebars, just places for his feet, can go 70 or 80 miles on one charge and reaches speeds up to 40 miles per hour, although he rarely goes that fast. It literally takes me four minutes to get to work versus about eight minutes in a vehicle, he said. In sports basketball coach Mike Krzyzewski has spent more than four decades at Duke telling his players what to do with championship level results. With his Hall of Fame career in danger of coming to an end, Wachowski let his players dictate the game-closing defense strategy as switching from an uncharacteristic zone defense into Duke's famous man-to-man. -man. The key defensive stops the two late baskets by Jeremy Roach moved Krzyzewski within one, work, one win of his record-setting 13th trip to the Final Four in his farewell season with a 78-73 win over Texas Tech on Thursday night. For 40 frenzied minutes, J.D. Note, Jalen Williams, and Arkansas played a maddening muscular style on both ends that took Gonzaga out of its game and right out of the NCAA tournament for far earlier than these Zags expected. Note scored 21 points despite missing 20 shots and, and the determined fourth-seeded Razorbacks dashed the number one overall 
seed Bulldogs title hopes with a 74-68 win in the Sweet 16 on Thursday night. You're looking at the GMS Radio TV Network Morning Show, and we will be right back with our closing thoughts right after this public service announcement. Do you love sports? Then you should know about STEM. Because maximizing nutrition, analyzing peak muscle performance, calculating the perfect shot, and more are all made possible by science, technology, engineering, and math. In fact, there are more careers than ever in sports science. So if you have a passion for sports, then think about getting involved in STEM and improve everyone's game on and off the field. Get inspired at SheCanSTEM.com. Welcome back to the GMS Radio TV Network Morning Show. I'm Allison Vasquez. And I'm Kirsten Skinner. Before we go, we want you to know, this show is food for thought and education to absorb. The journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. Say no more. Well, for all of us here at Greenville Middle School, be safe and have a great day.